Good morning. This is Keller Land on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your Borna Busters coming up, but first, our top story. A congregation in Mitchell is deciding its next step after vandals scrawled graffiti on their church, including a Bible verse that calls same-sex relationships an abomination. The Mitchell Congregational United Church of Christ has been on the forefront of welcoming the LGBTQ plus community into its fold. However, last week, someone took spray paint to the church, writing words like repent and a passage from the Old Testament book of Leviticus on the building. The pastor is discouraged to see people in the community acting this way. Sad that uh, there are people who um, obviously claim to be Christian um, and yet um, have, have hate uh, in their hearts and uh, enact that on, on a, a church building um, and uh, to the point where they're even quoting scripture. But other people in the community have since covered the graffiti with positive messages promoting love and acceptance. Authorities in western South Dakota are asking for the public's help in finding a man wanted for assaulting law enforcement and drug possession. Ernest Atakai is believed to be in or around the Pennington County area. He's a 44-year-old Native American, 6 foot 1 and weighs 179 pounds. Contact the Pennington County Sheriff's Office if you have information on where he is. South Dakota Highway Patrol is investigating a deadly rollover in Charles Mix County. Investigators say a 43-year-old man driving a PT Cruiser Friday morning lost control at a curve east of Academy, South Dakota, went into a ditch and vaulted over a driveway. The man was not wearing a seatbelt and was thrown from the vehicle. He died at the hospital. A Sioux Falls Home Care Center hosted a barbecue picnic Saturday to give back to the community. Eli Home Care provides short-term services for those with disabilities and people in hospice. The picnic offered a chance to invite family and friends to share a meal in Pioneer Park. That's why we prepare food, you know, all kind of meal, and they're going to come and eat and have fun so we can talk. That way they are able to get out from house. The co-founder of Eli Home Care is originally from Tanzania and started the home care service three years ago. Let's take our first look at the forecast now and meteorologist Adam Rutt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. We are off to a bit of a soggy start to the day in a, in a couple of portions of Kelowian. We'll get to that in just a moment, but for now, Sioux Falls is dry, albeit with some cloud cover out there. We are sitting in the mid-60s downtown, 64, with a little bit of sunshine trying to break through. Uh, south wind right now at 9 miles per hour. Compare that to what we have over in Pier, where we have seen rain already. You can see the rain shadow over there to the right side of your screen. 61 with a southeast wind at 3 miles per hour. We're at 64 in Brookings, Huron, Aberdeen, and Mitchell, along with Mobridge and Phillip. 60 Rapid City, 54 the cool spot in Custer, Spearfish and Faith at 61, 63 Valentine, and 66 as you head toward Yankton. It is a little breezy out there. Notice the direction of that wind. It's out of the south. That's going to bring in a little more warmth and a little more moisture, which will in turn prime the pumps, so to speak, for the potential of strong two at times severe thunderstorms later today and into the first part of your night. We'll have details and updates on that, plus the rest of your forecast coming up. All right, thank you very much, Adam. The Sanford Air Med team flies more than 4,000 patients over Sioux Falls in the five-state area every year. The four helicopters and five airplanes in the Air Med fleet have thousands of flight hours logged. And it takes a close-knit team of well-trained professionals to keep the aircraft flying. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Lauren Solak takes a look at the work mechanics and pilots do to make sure patients are flown to medical help quickly and safely. Be sure to watch tonight at 10. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Office is hosting Badges and Bobbers. They'll be fishing and archery at Lake Ole in Harrisburg from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Hot dogs will be served for lunch. The Summer Concert Series at Goodhart State Park southeast of Sioux Falls features Jet Li Park. The music starts at 4 p.m. A park entrance license is required. Seating is limited, so you may want to bring your own lawn chairs or blankets. Buffalo Days wrap up in Laverne, Minnesota with a baseball tournament, hikes through Blue Mound State Park, plus a afternoon dance recitals and an ice cream social. The Canaries baseball team takes on the Sioux City Explorers at Sioux Falls Stadium. First pitches at 4.05 p.m. And it's race night at Houston Speedway in Brandon. Gates open at 5, hot laps are at 6.30, and the races start at 7.30. Tickets are $20 for adults, $10 for students, and free for ages 12 and under. 
Adam? We'll have ourselves a little more rain as we go through the morning. Here is a live Doppler radar. You can see those showers moving through Pierre, Winter, and Chamberlain with one little thunderstorm headed toward the Chamberlain area. Also a couple of uh, little scattered showers and thunderstorms up in northeastern South Dakota toward the Sisseton area. And then moving into McCook County between Mitchell and Sioux Falls along I-90, we have one lone little cell that's trying to keep its act together. As we head later into the day, though, we are going to keep an eye on the skies yet again. This is the latest update from the Storm Prediction Center. Still a level two out of five slight risk in yellow. Basically everybody East River, winter all the way down into a Bennett County, Jackson County, and then Cherry County into Nebraska. A marginal risk in green west of Mulbridge along the Cheyenne River Valley through Faith uh, into Eagle Butte, and then eventually Rapid City and down into southwestern South Dakota. Wind and hail are the main concerns. There is an isolation tornado risk as well as we head later into the day. Notice the enhanced risk just at the border uh, between South Dakota and Nebraska and even creeping in just a little bit into extreme southern Charles Mix and Bonham counties. And we'll see if that creeps up a little bit further as we go through the rest of your morning and through the afternoon. But just to know that we do need to stay aware of uh, what we're seeing in the skies as we head later into the day. Speaking of that, here's future cast as we go through the rest of your morning. We'll still see showers and a thunderstorm or two that'll move on through. But then round two gets its act together as we head later into the afternoon and evening. Uh, the amount of severe weather potential that we'll have in place is going to depend partially on what kind of sunshine we get. If we get more, we get more instability. So that a sun up above is going to be a bit of a double edged sword for the rest of the day. Regardless, here's what we're seeing right now we'll through 5 and 7 p.m. We'll start to see a few thunderstorms pop up, but then a line begin to form as we head into the second half of the evening and to, into the first part of your night as well. So you will want to stay weather aware as we go into the overnight time frame, especially if you're near and east of I-29. Highs today in the 70s and 80s. Again, those showers and thunderstorms will be something we keep an eye on, not just this morning, but more so later into the day and into the first part of your night where we'll see lows in the 50s to low 60s. The rest of your seven day forecast overall is not bad today. Yes, we're watching that chance for showers and thunderstorms into tonight. Tuesday, the next chance in Sioux Falls, but in between we get a good day on Monday and even better weather Wednesday into the weekend. Highs in the upper 70s to around 80 with a good amount of sunshine. Same rules apply for Aberdeen. A good day Monday sandwiched in between two unstable days today and Tuesday with showers and thunderstorms in the cards. Wednesday through Saturday, you're doing pretty well with highs in the mid to upper 70s. In Pier, Sunday and Tuesday, again, showers and thunderstorms possible. But Monday could also have a few isolated thunderstorms we keep an eye on. And in general, we're pretty good for the second half of the week beyond maybe a sprinkle chance Friday evening and a Friday night. In a Rapid City, it's today and Tuesday along with Saturday for a chance at a couple of showers. Sunday also featuring a few thunderstorms. But that second half of the work week is looking wonderful with highs in the low 80s and a good amount of sunshine to go right along with it. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.